after two years of COVID, we can re-strengthen um, uh, the connectivity between um, uh, Sweden and Jordan. And again, the role that, uh, that you play in the international community. There's so much to talk about. Uh, you and I have been discussing your passion for, for the environment, um, and I'm sure there's a lot of connectivity to, uh, to be able to do that. And our hope is also to make sure that um, we can connect our private sectors, because again, we have a young, savvy um, private sectors that um, they're the ones that I believe truly build the bridges between our nations uh, more than us politicians. Um, and I hope that um, uh, we can uh, work with, uh, with your government to look at um, how we can get private sector engagement moving as quickly as possible. Um, we're also very grateful to um, um, Sweden's position on the challenges um, and the role that you played for UNRWA. Um, this is uh, for us very, very important. And if it wasn't for uh, the role of Sweden, I think uh, Jordan and, uh, and the region would have suffered um, because we have multiple refugees uh, in our country and the region that uh, have been sorely affected. But also your um, commitment to uh, promoting peace and stability in the region um, and, and your role in, in working with all of us to try and uh, break down barriers uh, between Israelis and Palestinians and, and the larger challenges that we have. Hi, Alan. Um, Your Majesty, our families have a warm friendship and our countries are close partners. Not only have we had diplomatic relations for more than 70 years, but uh, Last year, we also celebrated our 40 years Swedish presence here in, in, in Jordan. And uh, today, I will have the honor to inaugurate the new office of the Embassy of, of Sweden here in Amman, as well as the Swedish Dialogue Institute for Middle East and North Africa. So it is uh, promising to see Swedish presence here in Amman expanding and the relationship between Sweden and Jordan growing strongly.